YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host TKK and we are back with another video guys. We are going to get right into this. So thank you for tuning in. Make sure you guys like, leave some comments. I'll try to get some uh, appropriate timestamps down in the description for you guys. This is going to be part two of a series that I started a week and a half ago. We uh, reviewed this case that's in front of us. We have it stripped right now. This is the Grandia 11, the G11 by a company called Silverstone. This is what's to be considered a home theater PC case. So last week, week and a half ago, depending on when you see this, you can check the catalog. I will card it in right now. You can take a look at this thing. We talked about it. Um, this is a great opportunity. This is gonna sit about as high and as wide as my home theater receiver. Now, the importance of this project is that this is going to lead way for us to create content for the channel, okay? Specifically with the Samsung S95C, right? So this is going to be the PC that in large part will be utilized for that particular uh, television panel. This is literally being built for it. Um, so today we're gonna go over just some of the parts and the components that's going to go inside of this machine last video on this machine was just more of a reveal and an unboxing and just kind of like a discussional piece about this particular case all right guys we're not going to film everything here right now I just got the entire house under construction but the front of this case and the specialty for this case if you didn't check out the uh prior video about it or if you don't want to check it out uh this actually has the ability to fit a 240 millimeter uh, AIO radiator inside of that, uh, inside of here. So that's a really, really great uh, selling feature for this case. Um, you know, what this does over a prior model that I had was, which was the GD9, um, is it gives you that more flexibility to actually cool the PC. I'm however, not gonna be using a radiator. I think I might've spoke to it um, in the prior video, but I decided against it. I'm gonna go air cooled in here with a ton of Be Quiet fans. Um, so it comes preloaded with two 120 millimeter fans. Uh, these I'm going to take off. Um, you do also get a 120 millimeter opening right here for you to put a fan. It does come with filters. Uh, there is also a 120 millimeter cut here, but this is for your power supply. So your PSU will pull in air here. Uh, you will have a fan pulling in air here. You've got two fans pulling in air here or you can exhaust you can make the configuration however you'd like uh, when you go over to the right you do have some intakes also so you got the potential to put two 120s there and then to the back your exhaust you've got yourself uh 280 millimeters there some people may not put anything there but i'm going to put something there uh the exhaust is right above the motherboard right um the motherboard uh, io and so what i'm going to be doing is like i said using the air air cooled solution so i just want to give you my fan configurations before i get this thing built so we're going to be going with the be quiet pure rock 2 this is an air cooled system it comes with one 120 millimeter fan so what i'm going to be doing is adding another fan there so i'm going to have a push pull configuration going there so as the heat rises from the cpu um, the one fan that's there is going to push it. Um, I'm also going to have this second fan there pulling it. And it is going to pull it right into the rear where I'm going to have two 80 millimeter Be Quiet fans. These are all the same exact same models, right? So again, these two are going to be exhausting air right here, right? Air blowing out. The cooler is going to sit right here. Uh, the, the, the included fan will be pushing it. I'm adding a second fan to pull it. So I'm gonna have a push, pull, pull. So any, any hot air rising from that CPU, we should be good there, right? Um, again, PSU is gonna be above that. And then under that, you're gonna have your graphics card in which you have your two fans on the side taking in air for the GPU. So we're gonna have two 120 millimeters pulling air in here. I want to pull air in here. That's going to make sure that my GPU is as cool as it can be. And the GPU in question that I'm going to be using for this is going to be RTX 3090. This is a non-TI card. Uh, I didn't feel I needed to go with uh, a 4090. 
So that card is going to sit in here pretty much like this. So it has a fan right here in front of it that takes air in, as you can see there. Fan right here, shooting air to that. Fan right here, blowing right to those fins also. So it's a really good configuration here. All right, and so these two fans that are existing, which this is cool, they come with these and those these fans are totally fine if you're interested in getting this case down the road. I'm gonna be replacing with two, be cool, or be quiet, <laughs> be cool, be quiet, to keep it real cool. Um, and then lastly, above the power supply unit, which again goes here, we're gonna put one there. So in total, we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six seven fans in the actual case taking in air here taking in air here taking in air on this side for gpu exhausting air here right we'll have the the uh cooler right here and we're adding a fan to it so yeah it's a lot of fans that's going to be inside of this thing um seven case fans and then two cpu fans so nine total um i did get myself a hub pack because the motherboard that I'm going to be using is not going to have enough, you know, fan connections for me to be able to get everything. Now, if you're choosing to do something like this, um, make sure that you get you a hub that actually can do four pin, three pin, and that actually has the speed adjustment functionality. Uh, the whole purpose of having these types of fans, they run really, really well. Um, and they're pretty quiet, you know, for how fast they are. So again this is going to be in a living room setting it's not going to be inside of a um a stand or anything it's going to it, it is but it's not going to be like glass stand so let me show you guys the motherboard all right man i could not wait to get this thing put together guys let's just get a look at this this is the uh g11 man silverstone looks beautiful i'm gonna fit this thing right above that receiver so it looks like a receiver very much so about the same width and height of my denon 970h uh, we've got a couple of filters here those just pop right off all these be quiet fans that have the ability to not be quiet we've got a power supply there get you a good look at the top of this thing look at that 750 watt that Corsair RM750E, that Be Quiet fan, we've got the push-pull configuration. If you don't know what that means, that means that the heat rises from the processor that's under here, right? It comes up from the sides, of course. That heat's being pushed, it's being pulled, then it's exhausting there. The interesting thing also is that when you come from the front, get this all off show you guys you've also got some air going there too now granted there are two mechanical hard drives here you've got air being pushed in this direction air is just going in this direction straight smooth like that 280 millimeter fans exhausting we've got two 120 millimeter fans bringing air right into this gpu keeping in mind this is a founder's edition card what that means is there is a fan right here that spins so this fan is just blowing air constantly on that card. The other fan on the card is on this side. What that means is any air seeping through here, this can suck it up. This can also take some air in, blowing it directly on that. Guys, I think this is a really great situation. Really great. Now, granted, he's going to be in there. I don't want to hear anything about, oh, you're, you're going to be throttling and this and that listen guys this is a great configuration um so ooh, whew, look at that look how that orange on the be quiet hits off them clips that's what i'm talking about yes guys let's fire this thing on up so my configuration is running a small plex server i've moved it into here so we've got uh right now a small 28 terabytes of for content i've got several terabytes available on two mechanical drives and then i've got another 16 terabyte of uh games playstation one two three xbox original 360 um we've got dreamcast super nintendo everything on here right um the s95b give me the ability to play some sdr games 
right? Some standard definition titles, some high dynamic, high dynamic range titles, um, a little bit of everything here. So I'm going to start running a little bit of my Plex server here. Um, the thought is I'm going to be testing this thing out, letting it run and just kind of seeing how things go over time. We've got power, we've got reset, we've got power and hard drive indicators here. The logo there, dual headphone jack. I shared this in the first video, USB-C and two USB-A's. Again, you want to plan with your motherboard. Also, the beginning of this video, I said I used the mini motherboard. I did not. I went with the micro motherboard. Um, so it gave me a little bit of more length into this. Uh, where the mini was, the GPU pretty much would have been the cutoff for it. Um, but yeah, the reasoning I did that is because it gave me enough fan headers to do what I needed to do here. So. Power on. Wind tunnel. Nice and cool. Like I said, we got these fans are blowing, blowing, blowing. Yes, beautiful, just beautiful. Shut this thing off and uh, get it put into this case real quick. All right, so the biggest thing with this setup that I have is you've got to make sure that you at least have some type of ventilation. Um, I didn't want to put this into this glass case because obviously glass is just going to it's going to create a massive uh, pain with heat. Um, so putting the consoles in there is cool. It's not really the, even optimal. But what I do is I open up one of these panel doors. But this is much better. Um, obviously, the front being open, um, the front fans are taking in air. So they're able to just breathe well into the system okay heat's gonna rise i mean that's unavoidable but uh i showed you the configuration there's a little bit of an opening on the side uh for those fans to take in and then this fan over here on the side uh left and right can do the same thing now there is an opening in the back um and it so ironically does align pretty much where the 280 millimeter fans are so that is nice um i can get creative and put a fan back there that would, you know, just kind of force exhaust. But this is this is what we're looking like having it there. It's nice and clean. Ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna wrap today's video. So this is part two of me doing a review of this case. There will be more content featured later in the year, kind of as an update. Um, obviously, gameplay content and such going forward. As soon as I get the S95C, uh, you can check back on the channel tomorrow for me doing some gameplay content on the LG C1. Don't typically like to get uploads going on a Sunday, but I am going to do that for this particular project just to keep the content consistent because what I'm gonna be looking to do tomorrow on that video is to just kind of, you know, play around with the configuration and see what I can do, see what I can get because the C1 is magnificent and it can do QHD gaming at a very high frame, frame rate, refresh rate, um, looking to see how 4K does also. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. Um, have any opinions, if you like the video, if you wanna support, all the different ways you can do that down below. There's the super thanks, there's the share button, the like and all of that, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you're newly joining the gang, we are going to keep on grinding in our preparation to get the S95C here. We put together this room, got it looking good in my opinion, and I appreciate all the feedback. Catch you guys on the next video. Peace, God bless, and as always, say, max love.